Hey, my friends, it's Easter time again. Uh, and I think it's a time when we do a lot of reflecting. And, uh, and the fact that it's in spring when everything is coming back to life, you know, after a cold, hard winter. Uh, you just, the word rebirth comes to my mind. And uh, we all have our beliefs, our different beliefs. Beliefs. I happen to be a Baptist, naturally coming from Southwest Georgia. Uh, most of us were either Baptist or Methodist. And uh, we've been going through pictures for my new cookbook because I told you it's going to be hopefully a lot of pictures that y'all have never seen from my childhood on up to my grandchildren. Uh, so this is the four of us. I wrote our name, Paula, Jimmy, Jamie, and Bobby Denny. <laughs> like I might forget. Uh, we were on our way to church. And somehow we were lucky enough to get a picture you know, back when I was raising my boys, y'all, there was no such thing as a telephone camera. So I have very, very few pictures of my children when they were little. And uh, this is Bobby and his daddy with his Easter basket. that I'm sure Aunt Peggy had helped me put together because this was probably about the time she was teaching me how. Now, I've taken them a little further. Uh, but that's how they looked if you went to the toy house there in Albany, at the Albany Mall, and bought one of uh, the toy house's baskets. And this is Jamie and little Kari. She's in her Easter bonnet. She was so cute. And, you know, I always felt like Jamie and Kari looked more alive than any of the rest of the family. He had his coloring. Oh, uh, she didn't have his dimples, but she was one beautiful little girl. And when she was good, she was very good. She was like the little girl with a curl. And when she was bad, she was horrid. <laughs> and look at this. I don't know why I don't have one of Jamie, but this is Bobby and the Easter Bunny. Oh, sometimes I would love to just blink them back. You know, just for maybe a half a day. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm getting ready to to do Easter baskets for my grandchildren. And uh, that's always fun. They get so excited. And every one of them come here. And I usually put them out on the front porch. Because they're going to make a mess. Grass is going everywhere and paper is going everywhere. And uh, I should have some pictures from last Easter somewhere. You know it, Eddie? I know Ashley took a lot. So I'll have to ask her so I can uh, just compare them last year to this year. So uh, I hope this message finds y'all in a very peaceful place. And, uh, you know, contentment is, is very important. It's a very important word in my life. Uh, accepting things, you know, it all goes back to that serenity prayer, y'all. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can. And please, God, give me the wisdom to know the difference between those two. And uh, that that prayer... I could say that every day and it it applies to me and I know so many other people but uh this Easter I hope that it finds y'all all in a happy good peaceful content way so until Easter day love and best dishes to all of y'all this Easter Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video.
Love and best dishes, y'all.